started with Jasper, ran to here three years ago, and I met him in the Key West and ran with him to Miami. And he was bitching about how much he needs a six day to run here in Florida and how we cannot get it together. So I promised that one is gonna happen and it took a while to do it. The reason it actually happened is Claire and I went to Ultra Milano San Remo uh, this year and um, a lot of our friends who were part of the International <coughs> 100 Ultra Running Club, um, more or less, I put a lot of pressure on them to come to the race. Well, the race is wonderful, but they had quite a few flaws. And I felt guilty, Claire felt guilty about it, and we decided we're gonna organize a race where we're gonna to try to provide better service and a venue for people to actually race and feel good about themselves. And I am pretty busy with work. I'm a workaholic, but Claire reached way, way much more than I am. So while I was having doubts about how much we can do it, she is the one who actually pressed, 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 we had a bunch of fights about that, and I wanted to give up, but she's the one who pushed it. It's no secret that... There is no secret that we ran out of money a long, long time ago. And I matched all my credit cards. She's the one who put up for money to make this race happen. So we wasted all of her, uh, all of her savings for this race. So this race is just because of her. You had my face because you know most of you who know me from what from uh, Facebook and from other places, but she's the one who pushed me. Okay, let's start with the awards, move forward. After the awards, Jasper is gonna talk a little bit about his run around the world. You had in your bag some cards where you can get autographs from him and talk to him afterwards. We have some extra cards there, over a hundred something, so don't worry about your bags. Also, if you are local, uh, the guy, Stuart Sherman, who was the chiropractor who came here, you you probably didn't see, he did miracles on Charlotte when she started to have problems in the second day and it wasn't clear if she can walk at all and she was able to walk another four days and put on a lot, lot of miles. So, for all of you who know me, you know that I am anti-yoga, anti-massage, anti-chiropractic, <laughs> anti-everything. But the guy made it happen and I was impressed. So, he left some cards. If you want, sign up your name get some cards, he is here in Hollywood, he's a young guy, but apparently he's very talented, so my wife is going to try him next, and if he makes miracles with her, I might even give him a try. Oh. Oh. That's a miracle! Oh. Did we get that on tape? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so in the six-day race, we had just one woman, and that's Charlotte. First place. Yeah, Charlotte! actually told you to hug his wife. Did you see that? <laughs> In third place, we have this Italian guy that we met at Ultra Milano San Remo, Michele. 
Oh, so you fit right in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Watch out, he's become friends with the raccoons here. Yeah. 
with a raccoon whisperer. Oh my god. Raccoon whisperer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we were worried about Tim causing a scene. Andre, you should have seen the raccoon in his car. I heard him talking. Okay, we had another guy that started with us, Bill Hildebrand, <laughs> and decided to give it a break after the first day because he came here for the American record of his age group. Apparently he wasn't on pace, he wasn't happy. He decided that in four weeks he's going to go to South Africa and try the American record for the 10 days. You all know how I feel about it. I give him a pass this time because he has a lot of experience and I hope he does well in South Africa. But other than that, all of you guys finished it phenomenal. Congratulations. Okay, in a 24-hour race, we had two women who decided to come here and push it as hard as